hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you guys we really appreciate you we do not take your support for granted and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got, guys, is quite shocking and surprising. Right now, all uh, uh, um, all the governors, they are on their toes because Nigerians are watching. You know, this hashtag NSAS is really exposing a lot of things. We know that we have corrupt leaders. But right now, uh, um, uh, uh, um, Nigerians are taking it to another step, taking it another step forward. Even um, other parties... They are placing a close watch on governors, on their activities. Right now, guys, the news we've got is that um, the uh, AD, Alliance for Democracy, um, is inviting EFCC, the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, uh, ICPC, to monitor Governor making day over wasteful spendings. You know, like I stated at the start, we've known all of this before. That our governors, we can't trust them. Um, the, 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 the kind of activities they carry on is not even the one that benefits um, the indigents of their states. It doesn't benefit them. Because if everything, as a governor, if everything they do in their various states benefits citizens, we will see the effect. It will be a, 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 a general effect that will, that will show forth in all of the states across the country. This one is quite interesting. Economic and financial crimes has to monitor a governor closely. Wasteful spending. Anyway, guys, we'll bring you more details shortly. But before we do, guys, please, um, guys, if you've been following Peak Media for some time now, you still haven't given us a thumbs up, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll get more details um, as to what is going on. A chieftain of the Alliance for Democracy AD in Oyo State, Engineer Oyedele Hakim Alao, has called on the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offices Commission, ICPC, to monitor activities of Governor Shei Makinde of the state. Alao, who contested the gubernatorial election on the platform of AD in 2019, noted that the need for the EFCC, ICPC, and other intelligence agencies to monitor making day is necessary to prevent what he described as wasteful spending. Daily Post recalled that making day had last week announced that he would spend 12 billion naira to procure 106 buses and rehabilitate two spots of roads. Betalao, while speaking, described as questionable the plan by Mekinde to spend 12 billion naira on the buses and two spots of road, as he described the money to be spent as outrageous and questionable. Alao, who described the move as another reckless spending spree, taxed EFCC, ICPC, and all anti graft and intelligence agencies in the country to monitor Mekinde's regime very closely. In a statement signed by his media aide, Omotayo Alao, Alao insisted that the current members in the State House of Assembly lacked the shrewdness, guts, exposure, experience, and sagacity to put the governor on his toes. The AD chieftain in the statement made available to Daily Post on Tuesday said, It is on that note that we want to charge EFCC, ICPC, all anti-graft and intelligence agencies in the country to monitor this engineer making this regime very closely and put such light on him and his syndicate being used to siphon the Oyo State financial wealth to his cronies at home here in Niger Delta and overseas. A lot are not right with this government. This government says he has established an anti-graft agency till now. His EFCC is still inactive. The anti-graft could not even catch those who were moving out the state's water pipes for personal sale. No investigation on the reported incident till the moment. Our governor just moved on. He did not even utter a word and he suggests that scandals bigger 
that we see are going on under his government. The announcement of the engineer Sheyi Mackinde's administration last week to spend a total of 12 billion naira on purchase of 106 mass transit buses and rehabilitation of just two spots of roads in the Ibadan metropolis calls for concerns and questioning. First, how can the government of engineer Sheyi Mackinde buy 106 buses with 9.3 billion naira? What type of buses are they buying? with such a huge amount which can be channeled elsewhere for something productive. What type of buses is our governor buying at a cost when Lagos State was reported to have purchased 80 BRT buses burnt down during the hashtag NSAS mayhem at a total of 3.9 billion naira. If your state is buying the same brand of buses of Lagos State, it means that when Lagos bought a unit at the rate of 48.7 million naira, our prudent governor will be buying our own at 87.7 million naira. Again, why must the buses be purchased through a third-party company? Even our governor must acquire them. Second, how on earth will our governor plan to spend almost 3 billion naira for rehabilitation of Felefele ED Ado Junction and Akobo General Gas Road? Of what serious strategic economic importance is the Felefele ID Ado Junction to the general economic well being of the people of your state? It is now glaring, maybe certain caliber of people are just in power to expound and strengthen their personal estates at the detriment of the poor suffering masses. Our present governor in the state seems to belong to this category of leaders. It is sad that the current members of the state House of Assembly lack the shrewdness, guts, exposure, experience, and sagacity to put the governor on his toes to being responsible. It appears that this current assembly is out to fill their pockets and have become a rubber stamp assembly. So people of your state need to wake up and stop this gullible praise singing. Yes, so corruption must go. It must leave our country from every quarter, from every state. Um, it must really go. So um, um, the um, AD Chieftain, Alliance for Democracy um, Chieftain, has spoken up that um, EFCC has to shine their touchlight on um, Sheyi Makinde over wasteful spending. You can imagine the, the amount, the budget, what he has budgeted for purchasing buses. <laughs> our governor's this corruption we're talking about is from the top if corruption leaves the top the country will move forward the country will be better anyway guys let's hear your own take thank you once again please if you still haven't given us a thumbs up go ahead and give us a thumbs up click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless